<laughs> Star Wars. Hey guys, uh, actually a positive review for once. I'll admit I can be a little bit of a negative Nancy sometimes, but I actually have a very positive review for you guys today, and that is about Prey. I saw this last night. I was actually really highly anticipating it. Between all of the good reviews I'd heard, the fact that the director of 10 Cloverfield Lane was coming back, which a film that really surprised me, in fact, I actually have the Blu-ray on the wall, and it was a prequel to a series that I find has never been beat since the first film, which is one of my all-time favorite action slash even thriller sci-fi horror movies. The Predator, or Predator, is S-tier movie making. The fact that that was John McTiernan's first real big movie, and the fact that it has some of the most testosterone oozing super 80s action stars of all time going in taking out a bunch of the rebels and then getting the shit kicked out of them and picked off one by one by the super predator where it turns in from this it, it goes from being a kind of standard 80s action movie to a fucking survival horror movie still blows me away to this day so to see the prey going back in time, going back to the 1700s, and focusing on a Comanche group taking on a Predator was really cool for several different reasons. One of them being just the focus on the Comanche lifestyle and traditions, uh, how she uses a lot of what she's known not only just as a hunter, but also in medicine making from her mother. And she combines those assets into making her character not a Mary Sue, which has been kind of prevalent with a lot of the female action movies in the last while, but she actually has the skills. We see her develop these skills. We see her fail. We see her struggle. We see her have to learn how to survive, not only against the Predator, but also in the environment itself. And then, speaking of which, the Predator. I actually really like this Predator design. It has a little bit of the familiar Goobafish look from the Predators movie, which, by the way, I also think that movie is a little bit, given a little bit more flack than it should be, because I think that's a solid movie in itself. Sorry, the camera decided to go a little rogue there. Um, but I enjoyed its design, because obviously this is 300 years before the Arnie movie, so the technology, while similar, it's a little bit older, but it's still kind of quintessentially forward ahead. Um, I like his use of the shield, the, the different weapons, and the fact that he just goes on a fucking rampage trying to find the apex predator of the earth. Like, he starts with a snake, starts with a wolf, then goes up to the fucking grizzly bear, where when he cuts it open and all the blood is just pouring on his invisibility, and he just gets soaked in the blood, it was so brutal, which... Again, another little segue, the gore in this movie, you might think at first is a little bit tame, and you're like, is this actually an R-rated movie, or is it just going to be like kind of par barely passable PG-13? Then when he kills the bear, you're like, okay, that's good, but where, where I, I want a little bit more, and it gives you more. Some of the kills, and there's a battle, there's a fight scene that happens about halfway through the film that they just got creative. They got fucking uh tom savini creative in terms of the gore because there's a few that i actually stopped reround rewound went back and rewatched them because they were so good they were so creative they were so gory they were so brutal they really fit into what makes a predator this massive killing machine not only for it being just this eight foot tall behemoth but also for its tools, its cunningness, its willing to kill, and um, its just general strategy. And that also then takes me back into how she takes on the lead character, uh, takes on the Predator. I do enjoy her struggle, or her learning against this creature, and the life lessons that she has both, as I said, against the Predator, as well as some situations that she falls into herself, there's this moment where she falls into this like kind of mud pit, and which admittedly I thought was going to be kind of a, a, a playback to how Arnie was able to hide himself from the Predator by covering himself in clay. 
They don't do that, but they have something else that I actually enjoyed that they were able to find a something new but still familiar to the series in terms of how it works. Um, and then I enjoy the relationship with her brother and that kind of combination because she's trying to show that she's not uh, just a like she's not set to do just the woman thing. She wants to be able to show that she's a fighter because obviously there's this uh, kind of loss with her father that's slow, lightly held on. And then her motivation is because all of you say I can't do it. And that is a good motivation for most people. Some that stubborn motivation that just because you're being told you can't do it, what like that would motivate you even more so. I found all the fight scenes with her and the creature quite good. I thought they were all really believable in terms of how this movie was portraying itself with its characters and whatnot. There is one tiny thing that I have an issue with, but I'll talk about that after I do the rating, but it is so minor that I feel that it's not really worthy of it. If anything, there is an actual terms of pacing. The beginning of the movie is a little slow. There are some moments where she is kind of, kind of being stubborn with overly stubborn with people about what she's talking about. And also, uh, douchebag rufio is in this movie for those of you who know what i'm talking about the other uh part of the group of the the tribe who's just kind of a prick and he just is like an asshole rufio from hook uh then i thought he was kind of eh. but aside from that i enjoyed it and there was something else though that was a little bit strange now they talked about how this film they were talking about actually possibly shooting the whole thing with them speaking comanche which would have been cool actually i would have liked to have seen that but they did come back and redub all of their dialogue. So all the actors came back to do all their lines over. So you could listen to it and then have the subtitles for it. But there are parts where she speaks Comanche Comanche. Um, for as the film is progressing, we're hearing English to us, but that's them speaking in Comanche to each other. And then when we hear French, there's no subtitles and that makes sense i'm okay with that it was when she spoke comanche to herself several times throughout the film there's no subtitles i'm like okay i get like i kind of don't get this because i want to know what she's saying like i'd like to know because now i'm just gonna have to google what she said <laughs> otherwise prey is a solid solid predator movie it's probably the best one since the original and the only one that i was holding in that regard in terms of second place was predators because I really do enjoy Predators. I think it's a fun, not really, well, it's not really complex, which this one doesn't have as, like, super complexity to it either, but it does have character development, which is good to see. It's got, not just from her either, there's other characters that get some development in this film. I think that it's a solid, solid action movie. It's got solid thriller elements. There's some good gore, some good scares, some good horror, not only with the predator, but also the animals. There's a certain scene with a bear that really freaked me out. I would have to say that Prey is definitely in my top three for the year so far. I think this film exceeded my expectations. It did a great service to the Predator franchise, and I'm actually kind of upset that it wasn't in theaters because I feel it should get a theatrical run. It's that good. So in the end, I'm going to give Prey a 6 out of 7. If you guys are fans of the Predator series, highly recommend going to see it or just watching it on your Disney Plus, I mean. And, and if you have any other kind of means, I would suggest watching it because it is fun. It is super fun to watch. Now, that one little conniption I said I had, um, there's a part at the end of the film. Now, I'm going to say a spoiler bit here, so just letting you know. Um, when she has the fat French guy, like as bait essentially for the predator, she's taking the flower to, so that she wouldn't be seen. So then what she does though, is just as the predator is about to come up on Frenchie, she steps out of his way, out of the predator's way. But at this point where it just, how it's shot, it makes it look like she's stepping directly out of his way. Some of my friends have said that it kind of makes it look like it's her stepping to the side, like she's already kind of out of the way. But my thought is, if he's looking at it, he can see Fatty and his heat signature, but then all of a sudden this big blue blob moves out of his way, and he becomes much more visible, and this big blue blob is right next to you. Because while he's like he, we know he can't 
see like he can still like, it, like he's not attracted to non heat signature threats he still can see the outline of blues so i thought that part was a little bit like okay hang on here like I, but that's it that's my only conniption i love the fucking predator kills my favorite kill is when he gets the guy up against the the tree stump and then he has his shield come out and chops the fucking dude's head off because then during the fight scene she she goes in between those two rocks and the sh and the shield tries to clamp on her face so good anyways guys that's all for me hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave a like and if you're interested in more subscribe otherwise see you guys next time